Hi everyone, this is OC from Digital Adventures. Got another fun project for you today. This one is called Glass Block Explode. So this is going to be a fun little animated effect. Essentially what we have is just a, a sprite that's basically a block that's yellow and green. Um, and so let's click on full screen. I'm going to click on the green flag and show you how this works. And so we click on the green flag and we see that the glass sort of shatters into a million pieces. Let's do that one more time. So let's show you how to build this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into the code. Uh, we're going to get rid of this existing code. Um, and we're going to start from scratch. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to events. We're going to get ourselves a wind green flag clicked. Uh, then we're going to get ourselves a go to XY block. We're going to want this to start at the zero zero position. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to show the block. Um, and then we're going to wait for a little bit just so that you can see that block there. And then we're going to get rid of it. So we're going to wait three tenths of a second. Then we're going to hide it. And what we're going to do after we hide it is we're going to create a bunch of clones of it. And so um, we're also going to add a little sound effect to it. So we're going to start that sound of glass breaking. Uh, then we're going to do um, what we're going to get is a variable. We're going to call this variable falling. Um, and we're going to set this falling variable to be equal to a negative 7. We don't need that to show up. And then we're going to go into uh, control. We're going to get ourselves a repeat loop. We're going to repeat this 25 times. Um, and you can vary that by the number of glass pieces that you want to create. So that's the first block of code. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say what happens when I start as a clone. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to show. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to that XY position. I'm going to call this zero, zero. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a couple visual effects. So we're going to set our size. And we're going to set our color effect. So we're going to set our size. Set our size to, um, this is going to be a pick random. So we're going to have this, you can vary this by the size that you want. I'm going to do this 1 to 15% so that we get little tiny pieces here. Um, and then I'm going to set the color effect to pick random. So color effect varies between 1 and 255. I'm going to vary this between 1 and 75 because I do want the color to change a bit, but I don't want a bunch of multicolored blocks. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a forever loop from control. And inside this forever loop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a turn degree block. And I want this to be uh, pick random as well. I want this to vary between negative 90 and 90 degrees. And then I'm going to get myself a repeat until block. And this repeat until block, I'm going to have a position and it's gonna be based on that Y position. I wanted this to happen until it's less than a negative 170. So I'm gonna go into motion. I'm gonna get myself a Y position block. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a couple more motion blocks. So I'm gonna get a change X by, I'm gonna get a change Y by, and I'm gonna get myself a point and direction block. So the change X by, I want this to be a pick random. I want this to vary between negative 5 and 5. My change y by is going to be based on that variable falling that I created. So it's going to fall by that negative 7. And then I'm going to have this point in direction to be a pick random. And I'm going to have this vary between negative 180 and 180. Unlike prior clones, I'm not going to delete the clone at the end because I want the glass pieces to show up at the bottom of the screen. So. Let's click on full screen and let's see how this works. So once again, we see that we stop it, we wait a little bit, and it shatters into a million pieces. So hope you all enjoyed that project. Um, if you do, give us a like, a comment, or a subscribe, and we hope to see you back for the next one. Thank you so much.